For more detail on changing out a leaking disposer itself, check out my video, How to Replace a Leaking Disposer with Garbage Disposer. Welcome back to Kung Fu Maintenance. So today I wanted to show you how to replace a uh, garbage disposal snap ring deal. Now I'm going to be showing you kind of an old one. Here's the one that I took out. This thing is, you know, they're, they're crazy. But uh, what you got is your plate and you put plumber's putty around the inside of the drain or you can put it around the inside of the cup here. Slip this on so the cardboard go, this goes down in the drain. Underneath this goes up against the bottom of the sink. And then is your plate and then is your turning deal. Now these you loosen up the screws and then there's the snap ring. And uh, here's the snap ring. Now the first way to do this is to reach down through the drain from the top and take the snap ring right at the very back of the snap ring. Uh, if I'll be showing you a different way to do this from the end in a minute here. For the moment I'll be showing you how to do it when you hold it from the middle. And you just hold it here and then take your flat blade screwdriver from underneath and you're just going to grab one side of the ring and clip it over. Right here, one side of the ring and clip it over, and then the other side of the ring and clip it over. And now it's locked in place. And uh, then what you do is tighten up your screws here, flat blade screwdriver, all three of them all the way around. Tighten them up, that's going to squeeze out a lot of your plumber's putty from the top of the sink. And then you're just going to remove the excess plumber's putty. Okay, got a second way to do the ring here. What you can do is, of course it's going to be popped off. What you can do is reach your hand through after you've assembled everything, just like before, and grab one side of the ring here. And then what you're going to do is basically go around with your finger, like so, and push it on. That way it might actually even be easier. I'll show you with a brand new one since uh, this one has maybe gotten weakened after taking it off and on a few times. But this one, I think that is probably the easiest way is just going around with the finger snapping it in. Okay, so here's a brand new one. That is off real good. And here's our deal. I'm gonna pop it off, and there it is. We go to put it on, wrap the hand back here, and just a little bit of pressure, and there it is. We're in. Go to show it again, pop the ring off. When you're putting it back on, you know you've got your plumber's putty under the flange, then the under the sink, the cardboard goes, then the plate, then the assembly, and then your ring. When you're putting the ring in, you reach your one hand down through the sink, grab the deal with one deal. Of course you won't be able to get your thumb, but and you go this way here all the way around <laughs> yeah they're, they're always a little bit tricky no matter how you do them you can use your screwdriver to assist either way there it is locked in tightened up you can use your drill
remove the excess putty from the sink train and you're good to go you got a brand new sink train i actually found a brand new one so i could show you again so if this was in place in the sink you would just loosen these three screws and you got to loosen them well enough so that you can slide it up far enough you won't do yourself any favors if you try to only loosen it up a tiny bit because to get in at that snap ring is a little bit tricky so loosen it up about halfway it's sufficient and then you've got your split ring or your snap ring and uh, what you do is take your flat screwdriver and you just get underneath it right towards the end and slip one side off and then slip the other side off and there it is snap ring now you can separate the parts and the cardboard so now you're going to put your plumber's putty either around here or around the sink drain opening and i like to use just a lot of it it's just easier put it down in the drain stuff's going to squeeze out a little bit underneath the drain you're going to slip your cardboard that's going to sit against the very bottom of the drain then you're going to slip your plate up with the grooved side down then you're going to slip your assembly on like so and now you're ready for the snap ring and the trick here is to reach your hand through from the top of the sink grab the back of the ring hold that into the groove and then you're able to maneuver you deal on with the flat blade screwdriver right at the end there so here we go and of course it'll be a little stubborn and they always are a little bit stubborn just so you know there's one side slipped it on and the other side and now we're in and done so there's the snap ring and then you just tighten it up all the way it'll squeeze out your excess putty remove and discard your excess putty and you're good to go I have a new garbage disposal ring Set. That was the easiest trick I found was reaching through and holding it. That way you can do it with one person. Hopefully you've got long enough arms to reach the top of the sink through and then the other arm to reach the screwdriver. Get the thing on. Good to go. Thanks for watching Kung Fu Maintenance. Over and out. So for more detail on changing out the actual disposer itself, check out my video, How to Replace a Leaking Disposer, Garbage Disposal. It goes into further detail about the different drain types uh, from the disposer and uh, a little bit more about assembling and putting the disposer together, and as well as the wiring. Thanks for watching. Kung Fu Maintenance. Over and out.